Our duty today is to show you guys the nature of Great Britain. I'm sure you've seen videos of the worst town in England, like Portsmouth or Peterborough, and the worst places and the homelessness. But now it's time to show you guys the beautiful nature and what makes Great Britain and the United Kingdom great. So here we are, Tash and Brad in the new forest, and we invite you to come along with us on a more chill video, just walking through the new forest, taking in the nature, and hopefully inspiring you guys to get out and take that step outside onto your doorstep and actually explore what is nice about Great Britain, isn't it? Yep. We are here at the Boulder Wood Deer Sanctuary in the new forest, Hampshire. Now this is quite a popular place. There's gonna be a lot of walkers as we walk through the trails. See if we can get some interactions with them and ask them different questions. And if we don't see anyone, that's absolutely fine as well. We're just gonna enjoy the nature. All right, let's start our walk. It's about, I forget how long it is. I think it's a two or three mile walk. It takes about 30, 40 minutes. And while we're doing that, Tash is actually gonna film her ASMR videos out in nature, ain't you? Yeah, I'm really excited. Do you just want to say something quick about the ASMR videos? So ASMR, they're like videos that are meant to like relax you and give you like a tingly sensation, like usually like in your head. Sometimes it can sort of go like just in your head here or down the back of your neck, even sometimes like all the way down your spine, things like that. And just helps like you relax. Some people it helps them work better. Some people it helps them sleep. Um, and yeah, so I just make these videos. I've watched them for a long time. It helps me a lot. So yeah, so now I have a ASMR channel, it's Tash underscore ASMR. Um, feel free to check it out if you like, um, and yeah. What we're gonna do is we'll take a look at the deer sanctuary on the way back, because on the way back, before you jump in your car, the trusted Renault Clio, is it takes you past the deer sanctuary anyway. So on the way back, we'll take a look and see if we can see some deers galloping around the new forest. Maybe see some of the male ones. Yeah. Do you call it a buck? Stag. No, a stag. Yes, that's it. Not a young buck. Hey, what is a buck? I think it's an American deer. So while you're walking around the new forest on this trail, you're going to see little information posters. And the reason why that is, is to educate people about nature. So the new forest is a nature conservation area and it's actually protected. So you're not allowed to have your dogs off the leads. You're not allowed to come here and litter. If not, you're going to get a big, big fine, which makes the new forest so special, isn't it? Yeah, and that's why it's so well looked after. And there's a lot of people that put a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of money into conserving this place. So it doesn't, uh, doesn't change, you know? Something special about the new forest is there's wild animals here, like wild horses. As you can see, like there, on the trail. Can you see that in the distance? So what's the procedure when you're walking past wild horses? So when you walk past wild horses, give them lots of space, and to be honest, all of the Forestry Commission tell you not to try and pet them. A lot of tourists do sometimes come here and they assume that like they can feed the horses, that they can stroke them, but as a local I would not recommend it. Yeah. Um, because they are wild. Like yeah. a lot of people they think that they like live on like a farm somewhere like, yeah. and they go home every night. They literally don't. No. They're protected, don't get me wrong, and they're there are people that are aware of the horses. They know them, in, some people even know them individually, things like that, but they are literally wild animals. They sleep out here in the forest, so they are gonna not be very happy with you if you annoy them. As we walk around here today, we're gonna see a lot of horses, a lot of nature. So if you're into nature, definitely, this might be the video for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. That's a pretty one, isn't it? A nice white stripe on it. God, smells like a whole <laughs> 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 I wonder what. Good morning. Good morning. Because it's so soft, I need to take that back. So, around the new forest, there's these benches everywhere with different names on to pay respect to the people that have passed away. So, this one here in memory of Jerry Tompkins, 1928 to 2004. So this here 
is always going to be Jerry's bench. In many ways it's better than a gravestone um, because people get to use it as well. The amount of people that have took their rest here, ate a sandwich here, it's pretty nice. I kind of like that way. This is a spruce and his name is Bruce. So there's loads of different variations and kinds of trees. Some that are local to this land and some they've planted here that are foreign to this land but as you go around we'll show you different like signs they've put up what this tree is how many they've planted and i believe who planted it as well there is a red post no red post over there but there's another one over there. So we know we're going that way. However, we might take a deviation down that way and see if there's a cool place to set up. Oh, but have a look at this tree that's come down. God knows how many memories this tree's had, but look at that. It's a big boy. might have come down in high wind. Whoa, ninja, ninja warrior. Cool, where it's been raining a little bit and it's still winter. It's absolutely boggy here. Oh, avoid the horse poo. Do you ever feel like touching trees? <laughs> Be connected more to nature. Right, enjoy your filming. I will. You're gonna be all right? Yeah, I'll be Or do you right. want me to just hang around for a bit? Maybe hang around just a little bit, just and, in case someone comes All right, if I get in the background of your vlog, uh, if I get in the background of your ASMR video, no worries, I'm gonna be in the vicinity anyway, so I'm not gonna be too far away. I'll keep an eye on you, all right? Okay. All right? Bye. Bye, buddy. Yeah, hello, mate. How are you? Right, you right? Yeah, I'm very good. Ah, uh, just filming. Filming? Yeah, just walking around the new forest, filming. Filming show the forest. Yeah, showing people the nature here and oh, right, everything right. like that. And who are you going to give the film to? Well, we upload it to like YouTube. Oh, um, no, yeah, yeah. I know YouTube, yeah. yeah, because like I said, we, we like filming the nature and showing people what yeah, England yeah, where has they could go, sort of and way. promote uh, walking yeah. in nature because yeah. a lot of people nowadays, yeah. especially younger kids, they're stuck on their gaming consoles and stuff like that. Well, so, I'll be honest, I've got a mobile phone, but I'll be honest, it's only if I conk out ring for well, hopefully, yeah, but I'll be honest, a lot of the places I've walked, it, it wouldn't have helped one jot because there was no bloody <laughs> yeah. What's your name? Bert. Bert. Who Brad, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice who are you? you Bert. Brad. Brad. Yeah, yeah, Brad. Yeah. I've got to be honest, I watch a lot of YouTube. Yeah? My, to, I shouldn't really, but no, I, I've got too old to do anything useful. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> One of the great things about you, the younger ones like you, yeah. I'd have loved it when I was a student. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Because there you are things so that I had to learn that, frankly, reading in books, yeah. you read it and you read it and you think, what the hell? How are they on about? It's nice to have conversations with people who like enjoying the nature. Unfortunately, you don't get too many young people coming out for walks anymore because a lot of young people are partying or sat behind their computer screens. And I definitely recommend you come out and you really enjoy nature, guys, because you only live once and you only get to see the absolute spectacle of what nature is. Anyway, let's take a walk down this path and then we'll come back and see Tash. Did you see us? To the next tree. <laughs> so I finished filming my ASMR video. 
I tell you what, people will literally stare at you and give you the weirdest looks. I'm just there. I'm just there with like a blank of wood going. <laughs> we are gonna take a loop around, see if we can spot anyone else, like Bert, walking along. See if we can see any more yeah, I've trees. Heard all about Bert. <laughs> yeah. See if we can see any more trees. See if we can just show you guys more of the nature here in the new forest. I'd love to see some donkeys. Let's twist again like we did last summer. Let's twist again like we did last summer. No. Nah. It's more like this, huh? Like what? Let's twist again like we did last summer. Oh, I can do it. Hold on, <laughs> let me try. Let me try. I can twist again like we did last summer. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah? Yeah. Tell you what, that river, it don't look like it's suitable for swimming in or skinny dipping. It's got like a urine colour to it. Do you know when you're so dehydrated and you ain't drunk anything and that first wee in the morning after a long day of exercise, well, that's what that water looks like. Okay, so now we should get a bit of signal. I'm going to have a look at some facts about the new forest you might not have known. And as we go to the viewing point, I'll tell you them facts. Ah, but we're nearly done. It nearly concludes this vlog and showing you the beauty of the new forest here in Hampshire. And of course, the new forest has towns and different villages around that you can visit with unique shops and sweets and Cafe. pubs and restaurants you can eat. Yeah. This is just the walking part, right? A lot of people do come to the New Forest to see the coolness. You even said there's one town with like all witches stuff. Yeah, it's called Burley. My favourite. It's got a really nice little cafe where you can get cream tea. I can't remember the name. And then it's got loads of like, yeah, weird like little witches shops. You know, like the ones you walk in, always smells of incense. And they sell like glasses and cups that are like skulls and they're yeah, just weird stuff. Don't know why. So in the New Forest, it's actually home to the old, some of the oldest trees in Europe. So they're actually the yew trees, the, so it's Y-E-W-S. Um, and some of them, they've been recorded to being like ne over like a thousand years old, some of the trees. And there's the highest concentration of those trees uh, in Europe, in the New Forest, right here. All right, so who created the new forest? Obviously it's natural, but who created the paths and stuff around the new forest? It was William the Conqueror in 1079. And basically, why did he do it? For the beasts of the chase event, hunting different beasts around the area, like wild boars and um, deers and stuff like that. And that's why it's so conserved, I believe. All right, so last fact before we end the video. The New Forest is 300 square miles for the whole of the New Forest, which is one of the biggest lowland areas in England, actually. So where we are today is Boulderwood. It's been a Tash and Brad video here in England, United Kingdom. Hopefully we showed you the nature of England, not the bad side. Maybe when we go on that trip away, we're going to show you some of the bad side or some of the good side of these bad places. But hopefully you enjoyed the nature. You take a walk outside yourself. This has been Tash and Brad. We appreciate you watching. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Plenty of traveling coming up. Take care and we'll see you soon.